This video is going to demonstrate how to create a template in Dreamweaver and what we're going to do is we're going to create a template which looks similar to this. Uh, the template is going to have a container like this, meaning that the web page doesn't reach to the full width of the screen and so that makes it more uh, easier to read uh, because often uh, we have very wide screens and so we want the content to maintain just that centre, so re um, staying in the centre of the page rather than reaching to the full width and becoming uh, less readable. So we're going to create a template that's got a container that all of our content can then go into. Okay, so you'll need to open Dreamweaver and then in your site, now if you're starting from scratch, we'll need to create a new file. So in your site, which we created previously, simply right click and say that you want to create a new file. And we're going to call this our template. You'll see that I've renamed some of my old templates for the purposes of this tutorial. And that's going to give us a HTML file, which is a blank, if I double click on it to open it, so you'll see it's a blank page. So at the moment we've set up our HTML5 uh, page. You can see there's my HTML down the bottom, and this is the preview, and at the moment there's nothing there. Uh, so what I'm going to do, just to show you that this is a page, is I'm simply going to create a H1, that's a heading size 1, and I'm just going to put a template on the page, uh, sorry, my template written on the page, and you'll see there's my preview. So at the moment, you can see my web page goes the full width, um, left aligned with the uh, left margin, and it's running all the way across my screen to the right hand, uh, right hand margin. So. Uh, what we're now going to do is we're going to create a container using a div. So you simply type div and we're going to set up a class and that class is going to be called container. Oh, and close it with a bracket. Now because I've got that h1, I'm going to take this finishing div tag and simply move it, in fact I'm going to space it a bit more just to give myself some spacing, simply move that div to the bottom of the page. And so what that's now done, you'll see that the appearance hasn't changed, uh, but what we've now got is this h1 is actually sitting inside of that div, and when I click on the div you can see in the preview it's actually showing. And so now what we need to do is use some styles to actually um, change the appearance of that div so that it's actually shorter. What we're going to do is make it 80% of the screen rather than 100% of the screen. Alright, so let's attach a style sheet to this page, so our template HTML page. I'll just save my changes that I've got there so far. Now in Dreamweaver you can uh, type the link to your style sheet in your HTML, but it's got a whole lot of HTML styles tools built in. So if we come across here to the CSS designer, you'll see that when we come here, there's the ability to add a source, and that's going to create a separate um, styles.css file, which is going to hold all of our styles. So to create that, you come across to the CSS designer tab, and then just click on the sources tab, and push the plus button. And you'll see there's the option to either attach an existing CSS file, so if you already have a CSS file, you can just point to that, or there's the option to create a new file. So let's create a new file. So simply click, click there, and a sensible name for your styles would be something like styles.css, and then you can say OK, and that's going to now, if we jump back to our files, you'll see there's the new style CSS page. So back to our designer. Now what we can do is we can add some um, selectors for those things. So the selectors are the different parts of the page that we're going to style. So if we push plus, and I'm going to add a selector for the body, so right there like that, and there's my body style. And then what you can do is you can add properties, so appearance. So if I want to change the background of the body, then what I can do is I can click on the body selector, add a property and I'm going to start typing background and you'll see that it's giving me all of the possible properties for the background and I'm going to simply choose background color and then I'm going to use uh, a background color which is gray so I'm just going to put hash ccc and that's the HTML, we'll add all six 
that's the shortcut for grey. And so you can see that my body appearance has now changed to be grey. Now what we're going to do is add another selector for our div. And so we're going to change the colour of the background that's in our div. So come up here to selectors, add another one, and you'll see that um, it's adding a container selector. Then we can click on the container and we can add a property for that container. So I'm going to push plus. And once again, I'm going to type background and choose color. And this time I'm going to say that the background color is going to be white. And so the, co the code for white is FFFFFF. And so now you can see that in my preview, the background of the body is gray and the background of my div, which is called container or the class container is white. Now we want to scale that, so we want to change it. So we're going to add another property. And the property that we're going to use this time is going to be called width. And once we've set the width property, you can see that we've got the property of auto or inherit or um, important. I'm going to set the width of my div to 80%. And so once I've set this, you're going to see that the div is going to change to 80% of the screen. The div has now changed. Now at the moment that's sitting on the left hand side of the page. Now what we want is to add some margins. So we're going to go to our container once again and we're going to make sure that we can add a property. And the property we're going to add is margin. And we want our margins to be created automatically. That's going to give us an equal margin on either side. And so at the moment, you can see all of our margin is sitting over here on the right because it's only 80% of the width. But once I choose margin to automatic, you'll see that I've now got a margin on the left and a margin on the right. And so it's automatically created margins, which is going to center align that container. And so that's what we've now done. We've now got our styles sheet set up and it's linking from to our HTML. You can see that it's automatically put the link here. And then we've edited our CSS or used the CSS designer to add some body styles, which are gray and a container style, which is going to give us a white background an 80% width and then automatic margins. Now you can add extra properties here as well. Uh, so if I have a look back at the WCCS portal page, you can see that when I look at the styles for this page, I've actually set in the body a background image. So that's another property that you might like to add using that CSS designer. Um, I've also set a maximum width and a minimum width for the container. So 80% is going to fit most screens, but if you have a very, very wide screen, then 80% is still going to be very wide. So you can set a max width to 900 pixels, which is going to give you a nice alignment down the middle. Uh, you can also set borders, so a one pixel solid border. You can see I've got a one pixel solid border here in my container. And you can also set the alignment for the text that's going to, uh, can, uh, that's going to appear inside of that container. Now this probably isn't a good idea to do in the container because you could actually do that on each of the heading styles or on the paragraph styles rather than doing that uh, directly for all the text that exists within the container. Uh, so because you're going to have um, styles which are mostly left, left aligned, I probably wouldn't set the text aligned here. Okay, hopefully that helps you and you'll be able to create that container. The next video that we're going to do, we're going to add some navigation to our template as well.